one year anniversary of Bill of War already. And uh, there's honestly nothing more that I want to say at the beginning, but, you know, thank you for your support. Thank you for listening to this, you know, weird piece of music that I've conjured um, during probably some of the most intense and stressful times in my life. Many of you have, you know, noticed how heavy and emotional the record is, and I appreciate that. So yeah, I thought we could play a game, a musical game uh, for this anniversary. Those of you who follow me and know my work inside and out, you know that I love to leave little crumbs, uh, quotes and references to my older music, to my favorite books, to my favorite video games, comics, cartoons, uh, to pay homage to my favorite artists and, you know, random samples and little intricate motifs just scattered around my records. So if you like all that, you're in for a treat. This is going to be a fun one, I think, because, you know, Bill of War is definitely no stranger to all those shenanigans. So let's let's go. Let's dive into this in the description below. I'll probably pin it in the comment as well. Um, you can download a PDF that contains four challenges. Everything is pretty much explained in the PDF itself, but I'll still run through the challenges in this video as well. But I would suggest you download the PDF and get to work. Uh, you can work solo, you can work in a group, I don't care. So the winner or the winners will get to have a 60 minute video call with me where we can discuss guitar, um, mixing, mastering, uh, composition, or we can just chill and do whatever. And on top of that, you get my entire impulse response uh, collection. So yeah, you have to be precise with your answers and you have to be quick. But quick will not work if you're not precise and, you know, vice versa. Let's go through the challenges. Challenge number one is thing that w a v or wav a bunch of you have noticed me crediting simon on the record as the thing so what is that it's an easter egg this is the video i captured uh, the first night of my australian tour with pliny and mestis back in 2018. okay here we go so this video of simon Yep, that's Simo. And believe it or not, this sample appears on Bill of War 20 times or even more than 20 times. Uh, but your task is to find it in the song Itch, in which it appears 11 times, but you need to find 10 of those appearances in that song. So that's your first task. Challenge number two, motif. For those of you who don't know what a motif is, a musical motif, it's usually a short, simple musical phrase or an idea that pretty much acts like a glue that keeps the song from feeling, or, or the whole record from feeling like a, like a scattered collection of musical thoughts and ideas and makes it a more of a cohesive uh, musical experience. <laughs> The motif can develop over time and evolve. That's called a motivic variation or a motivic development. Oftentimes, a listener is not even aware that that's happening, but it's still it's still this force that you know glues everything together. Maybe I can make a video in the future on motifs and how they're um, used in you know popular music, classical music or just the music in general. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. But yeah, motif of Bill of War is a very simple five note melody uh, that appears on the record more than 30 times. You need to find only 10 of those appearances of the motif. The four most common variations uh, of the motif on Bill of War are 
this. Challenge number three, quotes and crumbs. It's pretty much what I mentioned um, at the start of the video, uh, not to go crazy on you. But your challenge is to find musical quotes of my previous work scattered around below for three musical quotes to be exact. Um, although there's probably a bunch more. Are we there? Yeah, this is a fun one. Um, I hope you enjoy finding those. And challenge number four is really not a challenge. It's just a little space for you to write down some thoughts, to draw something if you want. When I'll announce the winner or the winners of this challenge, I will share some of my favorite entries. So yeah, don't stress over this too much. We're, you know, if you manage to find like three or four or five things, uh, still send me, send me your PDF because maybe you'll notice something that I haven't noticed on my records. And that happened in the past a bunch of times. Keep in mind, we're doing this just for fun. And we are obviously uh, sneaking in some practice of active music listening, which I feel like we need more of, you know, in today's music world, unfortunately. But yeah, have fun, send me what you got, and I'll see you guys on December 7th. December 10th is when I'll announce the winners. Yeah, this video was supposed to be out like a week ago, so, you know, um, everything nowadays takes like three times longer. <laughs> Stay awesome. Thank you.